I would like to address three challenges that NATO is facing more at the strategic level. The first of all is our relevance. Secondly, our readiness. And thirdly, our responsiveness. How can we use the enormous military power that we have in this changing environment? We are the strongest alliance in the world. How can we use that strength to improve our influence on our security environment and prevent threats from occurring or escalating? How can we translate this power into relevance? We are an alliance of friends who come to the aid of each other in times of need, also because our national security depends upon our collective security. The Netherlands, we are involved in 20 missions. We can't do anything without help from friends. To death, thus send a very clear message that we take the protection of NATO territory extremely seriously to send a signal that there is a red line that should not be crossed, but also to send a signal to our partners that we will not leave them alone. NATO should look for complementarity with organizations like the European Union. Regional partners means expanding our cooperation into these fragile countries in this ring of instability surrounding us. And by engaging with them, by helping them, we can prevent that from happening. And we can better understand the roots of the, un, uh, of the uncertainty there. A good example of what can be done elsewhere is the US ACOTA program in which we participate. This program provides training to local military units in order to strengthen their own security systems. These programs enable us to achieve local solutions to local problems. And I think that is a lesson that we have learned in other conflict areas. The program is a good example of new ways to prevent crisis from occurring instead of reacting to crisis when they occur. And we all acknowledge that a higher readiness is needed. The last 25 years, we focused on more expeditionary operations. We became very light, very mobile, focusing on countering insurgency, which is something I'm afraid needs to be done in the future as well. But we kind of capitalized on combat power. We capitalized on our readiness. And that was recognized in Wales, in Warsaw. We came to the conclusion that we need to repair that. We need to reinforce that. Like Roosevelt said, speak softly, but carry a big stick. We need combined forces that not only exist on paper, but are really ready and deployable and available at shorter notice. What's the use of having units ready within hours if it takes days or weeks to conduct the polit political decision making, to deploy them? And I hope that politicians can find ways to enable that, because sometimes that's needed. Only together with other countries, we can keep pace with rapidly developing new technologies. What we need is a working program to fill those gaps, to enable us to act rather than to react. But all these approaches do require member states to invest in these niche capacities and a willingness to make them available and a willingness to join forces. So ladies and gentlemen, to me it's clear, it's time for a new look. The relevance and the responsiveness of NATO requires a proactive approach and the will and eagerness to change, just as it requires a different take on sovereignty. But in the end, everything we do, everything we are trying to change, also depends on you. You are the citizens of NATO member states. You are possibly future leaders of NATO countries. You can help think about how to deal with the complex problems that we all face. So I hope you also have time to discuss today what we need in order to strengthen our ability to do what's needed, to safeguard our alliance territorial, territorial security and our common interests.